So we have some urgent news everybody and here is the breaking news for the fourth stimulus payment that I want you to know. Rising food prices are emerging as a significant obstacle to the nation's economic recovery from the crisis this year, which would translate into higher grocery prices worldwide this year. And according to top economists, consumer food prices tend to lag behind commodity prices by several months. Attending school and low-income communities tested 17 points lower in math than they did just in 2019. And we can't allow a global pandemic to set these children further back on the path to a bright future. And the bill includes $17.5 billion, the largest increase in more than a decade, for Title I aid grants. These grants provide funding for more than half of our nation's public schools to help students, particularly in low-income communities, even if food commodity inflation slows, as many forecasters expect, households will face higher grocery bills this year. An inflation gauge that is closely monitored by the Federal Reserve jumped 6.1% last month compared with a year ago. CNBC has said the latest evidence shows that Americans are enduring sharp price increases that will likely worsen as the year goes on. It is really frustrating to see that prices are continuing to increase significantly, especially as the crisis is still ongoing. And I know millions of people are going through a tough time right now, and it's time for Congress to step in and take action for the people. And the good news, everybody, is that new legislation has been proposed. Democratic Representative Elon Omar of Minnesota has officially introduced a bill that would create a guaranteed income program in the nation to send $1,200 a month directly to most Americans. A $1,200 monthly stimulus check would definitely help so many people experiencing the financial difficulties right now. Now, the bill is called the Support Act, and so far, the legislation has been co-sponsored by progressive lawmakers, including Cory Bush, Pamela J. Paul, and Dwight Evans. The legislation will create a $2.5 billion grant program to fund local pilots and guaranteed income. These would run in hundreds of communities across the nation and provide findings, and provide findings for a national program. According to the Huffington Post, the National Guaranteed Income Program would start sending $1,200 per month to adults, making up to $75,000 per year, or head of households, making up to $112,500 per year. In addition, the bill provide eligible households $600 monthly per child. The payments will phase out for higher incomes. And the Huffington Post also said that undocumented people who file taxes with an ITIN number would be eligible. The legislation would also establish a banking system through the Postal Service for for individuals experiencing housing instability to receive payments. In a statement, Representative Omar said, For too long, we have prioritized endless growth, while millions of people are homeless, hungry, or without health care. We as a nation have the ability to make sure everyone has their basic fee, basic needs like food, housing, and health care met. So I do agree that more stimulus relief aid should be sent out to the people right now. Congress needs to take action on this very soon, everybody, before it gets worse. And the idea of guaranteed income or free money with no conditions to improve economic conditions is not something new. It's been tested in countries like Kenya and India with positive results. Representative Omar pointed to the success of the federal government's own recent experiment in giving cash directly to Americans. So far, millions of Americans have received three rounds of stimulus payments during the crisis. And these payments were found to substantially reduce economic hardship, enabling people to buy food and pay bills. So as of December 2021, the IRS had issued more than 175 million stimulus checks, worth $400 billion under the third round of payments. A large amount of states have also given out extra stimulus checks, including California and Maine. Everybody, that's all breaking news that I want you to know about the fourth stimulus check. If you have any questions on this, feel free to leave them in the, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my very best in answering them. It's official, everybody. More stimulus payments have been passed by state governors, and lawmakers are finally stepping up for Americans that are struggling right now, all because of the crisis. Checks worth up to two thousand dollars, folks, can now be claimed by eligible Americans very soon, and this is the most important stimulus check news that I want you to know. Remember everybody, the whole goal of this channel is to provide you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check information. I want to see every member of my community receive the much-needed stimulus payments that everyone needs. And if you guys agree with me, then get this video to 1,000 likes. It's almost two years after the start of the crisis and some of the hardest hit workers in essential industries are online for some new federal help for the expenses that they took as they worked through the crisis. It's sad to see how many Americans had to dip into their own pockets to pay for essentials. It should have been done by the government. No doubt about that. Still morning. 
It's been a busy one. Uh, as we gather here, the Rules Committee is meeting. We have introduced legislation for the continuing resolution, which will hopefully be brought plan to take up uh, today on the floor. We plan to take up on the floor of the House. But thankfully, the government is getting ready to provide up to $700 million in stimulus aid, essentially a new type of stimulus check. The important news is that applications will be accepted soon. So make sure to watch until the end of the video to see if you qualify for this new stimulus payment. The great news is that those who qualify will have the chance to receive money that they can use to cover household expenses or even pay down debt. It's been announced that farm and meat packing workers are going to be able to receive money through a new farm and workers program. So with that, then we go on to uh, what we want to do next. Uh, there's no question last night was a disappointment. I support what the president said. He's disappointed but not deterred. We will continue the work. Meet college and career-ready academic standards. Now, of course, we're investing in these children, but we're also investing in their families. The bill, bill provides more than $6 million for child care and development block grants. That's a 4.4 percent increase over last year. And these <clears throat> grants will assist low-income families in getting quality child care that fits their needs and prepare their children to succeed in school. And across this country, the wealthiest, most powerful nation on earth, more than 38 million people, including 12 million children, are what can be called food insecure. So the bill increases support for nutrition programs. These programs are a lifelong, lifeline to these American families. It also ensures over 4 million low-income women and children don't see their benefits reduced at the end of April by extending the WIC cash value voucher program, special 35 month monthly benefit for purchasing fruits and vegetables. It has house families and their homes by providing billions of dollars to build and support public housing. We understand that hundreds of thousands of Americans are homeless. The bill will provide $3 billion, a 6.6% 6 .6 increase for homeless assistance grants. And we know it's a bipartisan priority in the Congress to keep our communities safe. So the bill provides a 15% increase for Department of Justice grants to state and local law enforcement and communities to prevent and respond to crime. There's also a commitment to the future of scientific research and development and innovation in this country. It provides the largest increase in 12 years for the National